So here we are in Rockport up in Granite Pier. I'm going to do a uh, image quality test and a um, uh, an autofocus test. This is episode three with the 7300. I'm really happy with it so far. Let's get on with the test. I'm going to shoot one at 70, 100, 135, 200, and then 300. And I'm going to do the same with the 100 to 400. And so far, my testing has been pretty uh, accurate. And I've noticed that there isn't a lot of difference with image quality. $1,900 lens, $800 lens. It's up to you to decide, but I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Um, for me, this lens is definitely going to replace my uh, 55 to 200 just because it's got more reach, it's weather resistant. There's a whole bunch of things that go into it, but um, it, you know, the 55 to 200 is a lot less money, that's for sure. But you know, this is a great lens and the extra reach and the teleconverter and all that. And I'm also going to do another episode on the teleconverter as well. So let's get on with the test. On the left is the 70 to 300. On the right is the 100 to 400. And uh, this first shot here is a 100. And let's blow these up to 100 and let's see what we get. As you can see, the results here are actually pretty good. Um, the 7300 is holding its own. It doesn't look like it's much different from the 100 to 400. Okay, let's go to 135 and clear. All right, here we go. So as you can see, the results here are actually pretty good. They're, they're both, except for maybe a little variance in exposure, they look about the same. The, uh, the 100 to 400, uh, just a little bit lighter exposure. But I'm looking at this area right in here, the tree and the steeple, and they look about the same. This is just a little bit lighter. All right, let's go to 200. And as you can see, we're looking at about the same thing. Nice detail in the tree here, same over here. Same with the steeple, everything looks about the same. Okay, let's go out to 300 now, and this is at 100%. And besides some variations in the light here, which make the 100 to 400 on the right look a little bit sharper, what it's got to do with here is, is the uh, contrast has changed with the light being a little bit, you can see it, that there's uh, just a little bit more light on the subject here, but they look pretty darn close. Now let's go up to 200 and you can see that uh, besides the image on the left, the 7300 is flatter because the the lighting is flatter on it. Um, boy, look at the tree here. It's just pretty darn sharp. Um, you can see the same thing here is true for this uh, 100 to 400. They're both really, really sharp. Um, pretty amazing, if you ask me, with a lens of this size and cost and everything. 70 to 300 is a pretty big range. But all the way out of 300, it's really sharp. I think you'll see in the 1.4X extender examples, we have the same. Thing that's really really sharp look at the look at the uh, the uh, chairs here on this porch let's see this is a little bit dark you just can't see him as well but boy I, I'm, I'm really surprised that at, out of 300 it's as sharp as it is let's let's go back out to 100 again here this is a hundred percent you can see that everything is sharp all the way around I don't see any real differences in these two lenses at 100. At 135 it's about the same. We don't see any real issues here at all. They look pretty close, you know. And then we get out to 200 and we still don't see any real problems. It's pretty nice. You know, the edges are nice and sharp. Oh, look at that. There's a person walking. Um, same is true over here. They're both external zooms, as you can see. Uh, they both have a lock feature, which locks the barrel. They're both WR lenses, which is great. And uh, they both, both have a focus limiting switch, which is also wonderful. Now, we're gonna be, this, this, this particular test here, we've already done the image quality testing between the two lenses, but this particular test we're gonna do today is with the TC 1.4 Tele Extender. 
at, out of that lighthouse and that, that house out there. And we're going to see how that works out. We're going to be shooting wide open because I want to find out where the biggest problem is. So we're going to shoot wide open and we're also going to shoot at the fullest extent out to 300 on both of these. Then I'll shoot another one at 400 just to see how it goes. But uh, so far my testing with the teleconverter with this lens has actually been pretty good. So um, we'll see what we get. It's going to be an interesting test. Now you can see that the, uh, it looks to me like the, the one on the right, which is the 100 to 400, might, might be a little bit darker maybe. You can see there's a little bit difference in the water, which I'm, I'm seeing, what I'm seeing here is a little bit of a contrast difference between the 100 and the 100 to 400 and the 70 to 300. You can see that in the, um, uh, in the lighthouse here. That's interesting. I don't know. Looks pretty sharp though. And let's look at this uh, Red Wing Blackboard here. Now this is at 100%. At look at this at 200%. All right, so this is taken at 300 all the way out, F8, wide open, 1.4X extender. Look how sharp this thing is. You can see all the little feathers on this guy's face. Pretty amazing, if you ask me. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. This is a 200%. Pretty nice. Boy, not bad at all. So today's test was awesome. The uh, TC 1.4 on this 7300. I gotta tell you, just looking through the camera, look, blown up, sharp, holy moly. It's the same as the 100 to 400 here. Wow, this is a... a it, kind of surprising to me but uh, wide open and it focuses real fast um, I see no problems so that's it from here at, at um, the headlands in Rockport I did the 1.4 X test on that on Straysmith lighthouse over there and it uh, I gotta say I'm pretty surprised it did an incredible job and uh, you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have any problem carrying the TC 1.4 with me and carry this little lens with me all the time for landscape, travel, around town. It's an awesome lens. So here we go with the autofocus testing between the 100 to 400 and the 70 to 300. The 100 to 400 is first, and as you can see, it's pretty snappy. Uh, no problems with autofocus, and I'll, I'm telling you right now, you're gonna be hard pressed to see a difference between the two which is pretty amazing for a lens that cost $1,900 and a lens that cost $800. Um, I'm finding no difference between the two. Now we're gonna go over and look at the 7300 and you're gonna see that it's also pretty snappy. I'm pretty amazed at how well this lens performed in this test. As you can see back and forth, there's a huge difference between space here. I've got the focus limiting switch on for all of these because they're more than five meters away. But as you can see, uh, this distance that we're focusing on here is probably maybe 15 feet from the camera and then 50 feet from the camera. Well, thanks for joining me for this episode. I had a great time comparing this lens with the 100 to 400, which is a superb lens, twice the money. Um, I think you'll agree that Boy, the image results are actually very, very close. I, you know, it's uh, it's kind of a toss-up, but you know, <laughs> that 100 to 400 is a beautiful lens, twice the money, but a beautiful lens. So, if you like this episode, please give me a thumbs up for this, and subscribe to the channel. That would really help me out. Make a comment and let me know what you think about the image quality of this particular lens here. So far, it's been great. And I'm going to be carrying this instead of my 55 to 200, which I'm going to put up for sale. That's it for this week, and we'll catch you next time.